Hi guys, today is Monday. Um, I'm not wearing my watch, but my mom did glue the uh, watch face back on over the weekend. Um, if it ends up coming off again, um, I'm just going to wear Cody's smartwatch. Because he doesn't wear it anymore. I bought it for him uh, before I got this watch for myself. And I saved up for so long because I got him that fancy Samsung Gear one. So it's like really expensive and fancy and all this that. Mine's like the very basics. Like it's not even like touch screen or nothing. It doesn't do all that much. But I got Cody this really fancy one. And he wore it on and off for like a year. Um, and now he hasn't worn it for like the last like year-ish. Um, so, uh, if that breaks, I'm just gonna end up wearing that because, um, there's a really nice expensive watch not being used, so I might as well use it. The only thing is, uh, it's bigger, um, so I'm definitely gonna have to get used to that, and I think it's heavier, uh, which makes sense, but, uh, it'd be nice to have, like, a better watch. Um, I just wish it wasn't so expensive. <laughs> Also because of the fact that like I'm I'm super clumsy. I run into stuff all the time. So like this watch has gotten such a beating over the time I've had it. And like the watch face is scratched up and stuff and I'm afraid that that watch being as expensive as it is and being as clumsy as I am, it's going to get all scratched up and it's a touch screen so I don't want to ruin the touch screen. Because if I ever decide like I don't want it and I want to like trade it in or sell it or do whatever you do with smart watches. I'd like to get my money for it, so I might see if there's, like, a screen protector I can get for it, but I don't know even how well that would work for a watch. I don't know, but I think it'd be smart considering I'm the clumsiest person you'll ever meet. So, anyways, it's about 11 o'clock. I've done a bunch of stuff like dishes and the cat stuff. I want to vacuum, and I haven't vacuumed yet because I didn't want to possibly wake up the people below me. Um, but I think they're awake because I've been hearing talking for a little bit, and I know they wake up early and they get their kids on the bus and stuff like that, and sometimes they leave and they're gone all day, and sometimes they come home, and sometimes they are home all day, so, um, I didn't want to end up waking them up or, like, say one of them was sick or something and they went back to bed after their kids went to school. I didn't want to, like, disrupt anything, uh, so I'm waiting. I'll probably vacuum after this, um, I just don't want to like be in the way of stuff because they'll be able to hear me vacuuming it's not exactly the loudest vacuum or anything but they're right below me so I was nice and I waited <laughs> but I gotta get that vacuuming going um, I didn't get to go shopping with my mom yesterday she didn't feel good so we have to go today because I need a few things like toilet paper and stuff like the necessities and then um, that'll probably be around 6 when I go I also need to get cat litter because this stuff that I'm using sucks so bad. I just hope they have it at Tractor Supply because last time I went they only had this. They didn't have what I used previously. So I can remain hopeful and if anything I guess they have it at Cody's work because he works at a vet clinic. So Cody can probably like buy a bag from them and bring it home. Because um, I assume they order in bulk or something like that, and the bag itself is only like five bucks, which isn't that bad considering how much you get. So, that's what I'm hoping. I'm hoping that they have it, but if they don't, then I'll just talk to Cody. I should probably text Cody today and ask him if it's even a possibility, because if it's not a possibility, which I don't see why it wouldn't be, they can order just like every month or every couple weeks or something. Whenever they order, they can always order just like one more extra bag and Cody can like pay them for that. Um, plus he gets a discount, but I don't, I don't know if that counts towards that stuff, but I'll text Cody and see if that's even a possibility, because if it's not, and I go to Tractor Supply, they don't have it, then I gotta go and I gotta see what else I can use, because the regular cat litter that you would buy in, like, the cat section, section I'm allergic to, like, 90% of those, 99% of those, and the only ones that I haven't tried are lightweight, because those are bad for your cats, um, stuff like that, and also the other cat litters that just have, like, more dust, and, like, I can't deal with those. I'm allergic to 90% of them, and, um, I'm pretty sure I'm allergic to what we got now, which is pine. 
um, but it's more tolerable. It doesn't smell as bad. It smells, you know, like a tree. It's natural smell. And it doesn't smell like a Christmas tree or anything in here. <laughs> like, it's nothing like that, but it's way more tolerable than that other crap, so... <sighs> Hopefully, it all works out, even if they don't have it. I'm pretty sure Cody should be able to get it from work. Or maybe I can find out where they're selling it. As far as I know, the only place they sell it is Tractor Supply. So if they don't have it at Tractor Supply, I don't know where else I would find it. Maybe like a pet store, but Tractor Supply is like an overall, like, I don't know if Tractor Supplies are like international. I know I've heard of them being in other parts of the country, but I don't know if they're international or anything. But it, it they're basically for like farming towns and stuff like that. Um, so they have stuff for like horses, chickens, stuff like that, a bunch of other different animals and stuff like that and I think the bedding that I use is like horse bedding I think but it's safe for cats all that junk like lots of people use it for their cats and I've obviously done my research and stuff and they just with the shavings because Pebbles and Eve are fluffier they tend to track it around the house which is annoying and it's really light and fluffy so it gets all over the place and it's just it's not worth it at this point. I've definitely adjusted how I put it in their litter boxes to make it so they track less around the house. But even with that, they still track it around the house, which is obnoxious. And then on top of that, it doesn't do as good as the pellets did. So I just want my pellets back, man. I just want them back. Over the uh, weekend on Saturday, I went to my mom's early in the morning and we baked like 30 dozen cookies. So many cookies. And it only took us like two and a half, three hours. Like, they were really fast cookies. The recipe was simple. We didn't have to ice them or nothing. I mean, we could technically, but they don't need it. And um, over the course of those hours and using the cookie scoop and stuff like that, it made this part of my hand sore from going like that a bunch and squeezing. It made this part sore. So, like, I'm going to have a really buff hand. <laughs> uh, it's sore. It was worse yesterday. But yesterday was the day after. It's not that bad today, honestly. Um, so I'm going to have a buff hand. I don't know about you. <laughs> and I hurt my thumb the other day when I was cutting my nails. So, like, my thumb hurts. Which sucks. But it should stop hurting. It only hurt a little bit yesterday and it's worse today. So hopefully it's not hurting tomorrow or even later today. Because it's just, it's not, I don't want to deal with it. No thanks. Um, but today, oh, Kyle's coming over Wednesday, that's when he gets here, he gets here Wednesday. Um, so today I'm doing a bunch of cleaning, I just did the dishes, cat stuff, and then I'm gonna vacuum in a few minutes. Um, I gotta do a few other things, I gotta do some regular cleaning, I wanna move some stuff around. And then on top of that, because he is coming Wednesday, and I'm going shopping with my mom when she gets home from work, I don't think me and Cody will be able to do too much, so I wanna try to do as much as I can before then uh, with this room so I want to I want to at least try to get all the extra stuff all the stuff out of this desk and move it all into the other room um, I do want to try moving this desk into the other room but for one I can't remember how we got it in here because it was a couple months ago but I think it fits through the doorway I don't think I have to do anything with moving it sideways which is good because then I should be able to do it on my own it'll just take a while it'll be heavy and like I'll wanna die, but <laughs> that's an exaggeration, but hopefully I can do it on my own. If I can't, I'll wait till Cody gets home and then we'll do it. Um, cause Cody will get home and then we'll have like an hour and a half, two hours before my mom gets here for when I go shopping. So me and Cody should be able to do uh, at least that. Cause if I get this desk in here all set up, I can then move my computer stuff in there, get that set up. I can have all my extra stuff in there, get that set up as well. I also want to put the grandfather clock in the kitchen um, instead of like in the bedroom or in here or anything. I'd like to have it out. Um, so I want to put the grandfather clock out there. And me and Cody do have an idea for the cat boxes. I don't think it's a good idea. And I wish we could do something else. But like our, we have a nice apartment. Like it's a good size. It's a two bedroom apartment. But it, in, in a sense it's too small. But only in the sense of, hey, I have cats, so they have cat litter boxes. They're not outside cats. Where do I put the cat boxes? 
because we used to put them in the bathroom because at our old place the bathroom was basically the size of our kitchen so there's this huge area where the cat boxes would go but now where we live there's no there's nowhere to put them which is why they're in the closet but when Kyle moves in he's gonna want to use his closet like I'm not gonna say you can't use your closet and like I don't know I'm hoping it works even if one has to be in the bedroom I don't honestly care if one is in the bedroom at all like put it in the bedroom I don't care um, but I don't know how much room there will be. I have a lot of art stuff. That's the issue. I mean, it's not an issue because, like, I love doing art stuff and I have so many things to use. And I do art very often. But, like, it's a lot of art stuff. So it takes up room that I could be using to put, like, the cat stuff. So, I don't know. It's not a huge deal, but it is a, it is a big deal. I also got to organize the closet in the bedroom because the top shelf, we just have a bunch of stuff slung up there. So I need to organize that because that's where we're going to be putting the cat food because the cats will drive you nuts if it's on the ground and they can see it. So we put it up. So I'm going to have to organize that so I can put the cat food up there. Um, and there's a bunch of other stuff I have to organize and I'm blanking on literally everything. Oh, and I want to change the wax melt. I should probably go do that. It should be off. But um, I assume it doesn't smell like anything anymore. So I want to change that out. Um, I have some piece of a candle that my mom gave me to use in my wax melter. Cody's got this stupid giant table in here because they were doing magic stuff over the weekend. It smells kind of. I'm so stuffy, so I can't even tell how scented this is. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I'm probably just gonna turn it on. There's some dust in here from the cats. Clean that off. I'm gonna turn this on, and then if I don't end up smelling it, then I'm just gonna turn it off, wait for it to cool, pop it in the freezer, pop the wax out, get that done. But I want to vacuum and get that done. I'm glad this isn't folded up in the bedroom, though, in a way. Oh, did you see Melanie? Look at Pebbles and Melanie. They're so cute. Hi. Hi, babies. Because <laughs> um, that leaves a little bit of extra room in the bedroom, which is nice for me to, like, move stuff around. So the table takes up a lot of room. But I'm hoping I can put the desk in there. I'll probably have to take, I can take the bulk of it off, like all the stuff on top, I can take the shelves out and stuff, I can take the bulk of the weight out, but 90% of this, besides besides literally the tabletop of it, is all metal, so, it'll be a heavy boy, I can probably measure it too, I think it should fit through the door, it's just such a wide desk, it's not as wide as Kyle's desk, I'll give it that, it's a wide desk, but considering Kyle's desk, it's like half the size. Well, not really, but it feels like it's half the size. Like, Kyle's de desk is so much bigger. And then another thing I gotta do after I move everything over, I have to figure out how to get these out of the ceiling. Because the hooks that we have, keeping them up in there right now, I don't know how to get them out. Because they're like really weird kind of... Uh, Dry hall, drywall hooks that I've never used before. So I don't know how to actually get them out. Um, I might even just have my mom come over and help me one of these days because I don't know how. I know how to, like, uh, I don't have the drill, so my mom will have to come over th for that too. So I guess she can just do all of it or whatever. But um, I don't know what we're going to do. I could probably get stuff, because we're going to have to patch the holes, but I don't want to patch the holes if Kyle has a lamp he wants to put in one of the holes, because then we don't have to patch, like, some of them, not all of them. But because of the hooks that we have, the hole has to be bigger than the screw for it to fit in. So, they're, like, decent-sized holes. They're, they're not too large or anything, but they're decent-sized, so... We're going to have to patch those up and stuff like that, so I just hope... That, uh, it all works out. I'd like to get these, because say I do get the desk in there and I do get my computer and stuff set up. I would like, definitely, to have all this stuff, the lamps and stuff, up, up and hung today. But without a drill, 
it won't really be possible because I'll need to make a big enough hole. I feel like there's something in my eye. I'm going to need a big enough hole for the thing, so I might as well just wait on that, but I can do general cleaning, tidying up, organizing, and moving stuff around today, though. Um, there's a lot of stuff that I want to do. Just sucks, because I gotta do it all myself. I don't have any help with any of it. So that, like, really sucks, but it could definitely be worse. So, not too bad. It's just a lot for one person. And I'm I'm too crazy ambitious, where it's like, I want to do it all one day, get it all done! Because then you never have to worry about it again. It's all done and set. But it's just so much to do in one day, the amount of stuff that I actually want to do. I'm not going to be able to do it all in one day. Like, it's just, it's not possible. I can definitely try. <laughs> it's not going to happen. If I can't get the desk in there, then uh, I'll wait for Cody. But I, I think I should be able to. And the little art, she, the art uh, lamp thing my mom made me, this boy right here. Um, it is very large because it's literally on one of those giant paint palettes that your thumb goes in and stuff like that um but uh even though it is huge it will definitely be able to fit on the desk with kyle's stuff so for the time being until he does get a lamp he can always use that one because i don't use it every day um i use it a couple times a week but i don't use it every day so he'll have a lamp it won't be the brightest light and it won't light up the whole room i don't think I think it probably will only light up like half the room, but uh, he'll have a lamp, he'll have some light. It won't be this much light, but he'll have light. It's also not that dark in here anymore, so I could probably turn those off. It was really dark in here at 7.30 in the morning, so I turned my lamp on and I have yet to turn it off. I'll probably just leave it on, honestly, it's not a huge deal. And it makes stuff easier for what I want to do later, because there's a lot of stuff that I seem to want to do, it seems. I have too many things on my plate. I can't eat it all. <laughs> Help. <laughs> oh, jeez. I gotta get going, because if I don't get going, I'm gonna sit here and continue watching this video. I'm watching an SCP containment breach uh, video right now. <laughs> I want to finish it, but the video still has 15 minutes left. So, I should probably get myself going, and then when I want to take a break and relax, I can finish the video. So, I moved the desk. It did fit perfectly through there. I had to do a little bit of wiggling to get it from this doorway to the one right next door. But, uh, now this space is empty. I have moved some of that stuff into the other room. Uh, my lamp is currently on the ground. All the stuff that was on my desk is in my chair, besides, like, paint brushes. So I gotta move that stuff over. I just don't know where I want it yet. Part of me just wants to put it all on the desk. That way it's all taken care of and in here. But the other part of me just isn't sure because I know the Cody Cody's gr grandma's desk that she was giving us. I know it's going to be thinner and stuff like that, but I don't know how high up it's going to go. And this art desk that I have has this separate piece here that pulls in and out. And I don't want this to like, because I assume the desk probably won't be shorter than this. Which means I'd have, once, like, everything's up here, I'd have to take everything down to move it. So I don't want to set my computer up on top and get my computer set and ready to go in here. If I'm just going to have to move everything, I'd rather move everything, get everything situated, and then bring my computer in here. So, I'm going to wait. Um, I'm not too worried about that. Uh, I don't know when I'm going to get it. It's probably not going to be today. I could probably text my brother and see if he can get it today, but then by the time I'm done with that stuff, like, I don't want to not be able to go shopping today, because I need to. But all the stuff that was on the top shelf in there, besides my two projectors and, uh, the cat food is all in here. So, Pokemon cards and stuff. I don't know what to do with those little skull candles and my Freddy bear. I don't know where to put them yet. I had an idea, but that kind of failed, but I do have a different idea that might work out, so we'll see. And then all the other stuff is just, like, tucked away in there. And then, uh, that has all my canvases and stuff in it, which is pretty nice. There's an Eve. <laughs> uh, I still gotta do a lot of figuring out. It's, like, really cluttered and crazy in here right now, which you can't really see. 
because uh, I need to still figure stuff out. Get hey Eve, I will fight you. I don't want you to break that. Yeah, that's right. But I moved the grandfather clock out here and I fixed it all up. I'm gonna turn the light on so you can see it a little bit better. Okay, so grandfather clock. I put the giant octopus on top because I thought it looked funny. <laughs> And I'm thinking about my idea is to put a box up top over there. That way I can put my little stuffed animal and the candles up there. And they'll be able to be seen because it's hard for them to be seen from this. And I was going to have the octopus sitting on here because when he's sitting in the middle back there, you can't see it. But when it's up here, it blocks the clock. So then what's the point of it being a clock? So I put it on the side. But then that also leaves more room for stuff to go over there. So that's what I want to do. And then I put the little... One on the picture of me and Cody. I have a picture of me and Pebbles. I have a bunch of skull stuff in here. And then uh, candles and extra stuff down here. So my clock's all good. And I actually had to change the time because I didn't change it after the uh, time change. So yeah, that's at the right time. Cool. That's what time it is. <laughs> Sweet. So... I can shut this light off. It's not that dark in here. It's just for filming purposes. Because it's so much darker. Eh, I guess it's not. I don't know. Maybe it made it better. Hopefully. <sighs> so I'm not going to set my computer up in here. I am going to take all the stuff that's like on my chair and stuff and set it on the desk. But I'm not going to like set it up. Set it up. Like get it ready. And have everything organized. Because I think I'm going to take the little desk and use that for art and art video. So I think I want to set it there. And I want my computer on this desk. So, <laughs> I don't want to get everything organized and be like, yeah, this is where I want it. Because I'm, I'm just going to end up changing it anyways once I get all the other stuff. So, I'm not way too worried about it. It is definitely more empty in here. <laughs> I mean, obviously, but it's just, it's weird. Um, and then I want to take the lights in this uh, shawl thing uh, into the other room. And stuff like that. So just a bunch of small stuff. I also have this stuff here that I need to move. And then I have those things there that I need to move. Eve's in the corner like a weirdo. Probably because the clock was there so she's sniffing it around. And then I also have to move this shelf. But I'm going to move this shelf when I move those lights. And then I need to move that skull because... Or not skull but skeleton right there because I doubt Kyle wants that in here. But I have until Wednesday, and I assume he's coming midnight, midday Wednesday, or like afternoonish, like early afternoon, <sighs> like before it gets dark, so like for the latest probably. So I'm thinking, because if I get all of this extra stuff in there, and I get all that stuff set on the desk, even if it's not where I want it, by the time I get the desk from Cody's grandma's, which is hopefully tomorrow, Hopefully my mar blah, blah, I can't English today. Hopefully my brother helps. If he can't, then my mom will. And that desk has drawers. So all the stuff that's in this desk and that top drawer will go in there. And then all my extra stuff will go in there. Like um, pens, pencils. All that jazz can go in there. But uh, yeah, I think that's almost everything Like on my mind. And everything I've done. I've done a decent amount. I did a bunch of vacuuming. I actually had to vacuum twice in here because I vacuumed and then I moved stuff around and then I was like, well, I just what well, I just vacuumed. So I had to vacuum again. And I'm probably gonna have to vacuum 30 more times before this is all over, but I might as well start organizing this. That way everything's at least out of the way, because if I'm not getting the desk until tomorrow, I don't want stuff in the way. And like those metal bars on the ground right there are in the way. So I'm going to take those and I'm going to move them by the closet. <sighs> Actually, if I'm not using this desk yet, I might as well just store them underneath the desk for the next couple days. And hopefully, I'm hoping that it is actually... <sighs> no, because my mom gets out of work late. So even if she did help me with the desk tomorrow, she'd have to go home to make dinner and eat and hang out. So I was going to say, otherwise, um, she can come over and help me put it together tomorrow. But she's not going to want to. It'll probably have to be a weekend. So probably this Saturday or something. Which isn't a huge deal. Um, I'm hoping it can fit in the closet. Because if it can't fit in the closet. Then it's just it's pointless. And I was talking to Cody the other day. This big white shelf that I had. If we had a second one. Because um, 
you can buy those big like cloth drawers that fit in them. We can put we'd be able to put it in the closet and that would organize all our stuff because right now because we don't have organization all the stuff that can't be hung up because we also don't have enough hangers and stuff is literally just like in a pile um and it's i i can't deal with it <laughs> i've been we've been dealing with it for a long time because our old closet was smaller and it had less room and it was even more cluttered i hope moving these isn't too loud but we have enough space now that we shouldn't have to be this cluttered, yet we are. I don't want these bars to be in the way. I think I'm going to move this first. Get this box out of the way and tote. And then I'm going to move these metal bars. That way I know where things are going to go. So I'm moving you over. We. Hello. I could probably tuck them in there, actually. It's not like we move around a lot at night or anything so Cody shouldn't step on him shouldn't keyword shouldn't uh, but as long as he knows they're there it should be fine doop, doop. the dog downstairs is woofing woofing and buffing it's organized to the point of things not being in the middle of the room, but it's not organized at the same time. I also thought both of my mini drawers would end up fitting in this nightstand, and they don't, so that sucks. I might have to think of a different idea, but uh, for now, it's whatever. So, everything's in the corner. I stepped on a cat mouse. And I have that. I have to take care of the vacuum, because I'm not going to need it again today. So... I should do that, and I should get out of here and close the door before the cats come in. Because I think I'm, besides moving a few things, I think I'm done in here today. So, that's pretty nice. So I'm going to finish moving a few things over there. I'm going to put these things on my desk in there. And then I'm going to chill, eat some food, because I still haven't eaten yet. And then, um... Probably do some more stuff and then go shopping with my mom and then for the rest of the night probably chill out. Um, again, like, I want to get a, a video started, especially because, like, I want to upload Friday, but with all this moving and stuff and me being the only person doing it and me not having help, it goes slower than if I had help. So I feel like all my time is being taken up by this. And I probably won't be done until Wednesday when Kyle comes over, so. <sighs> Let's just, uh, hope I can get a video up this week. If I miss it, that's fine. I missed one the other week, and it's not a huge deal, but I'd like to have them up. And another thing, because <laughs> I'm all over the place, another thing I want for the apartment is I want our kitchen table. And I want to put it right here, but we have the air conditioner, and I don't know where to put it. So, there's a lot of figuring out to do. <sighs> there's so much to do, so little time. I'm gonna go eat. <sighs> and then I'm probably gonna be doing stuff and then going shopping. I'm gonna be really busy. So, I think I'm just gonna end the vlog here. That way I don't forget and I can just like start editing it and stuff like that, so... I think that would probably be the easiest thing for me to do right now. So that's what I'm going to do. So, hope you guys had a good weekend and a good Thursday and Friday, considering I didn't make a video. But, <laughs> hope you guys had a good weekend and a good Monday. And, uh, I'll see you guys tomorrow.